Hi there, sign of Aries. This is Kim with your reading for your next 48 hours. Thanks for joining me. Get right into this reading, asking your spirit team to join us as I always do and your angels so that we get messages and they're made to resonate with their highest good in mind. So this is the spirit animal oracle and I'm pulling from it first just to see it's kind of with the theme because I have the journey of the sacred bee for the um, tarot spread. Well, it's like a few are wanting to come out, but not just one is coming out. Oop. Okay, Aries. That one. What is it? Moth spirit, surrender now. 39. It's, a, it's like a spreading your wings and trusting whatever this is about. Um, also, metamorphosis, change. Um, nice. 48. It's kind of like the full energy with the leap of faith. It's 48, time for a beginner mind. With the porcupine spirit. So cute. Okay, so yeah, let's go into the tarot. So a moth spirit, something to surrender to, kind of feels like it's saying, um, take a leap of faith in the unseen here. Might also have something to do with night and transformation. You can see the pearls too, or the pearl um, book. So those are created through grit. And um, over time, so those are some main characteristics I would give to that moth spirit card. With the porcupine spirit, that's it could be a lot of um, taking your first step, having a, exploring new journeys, um, exploring something you've never done before. One more. Moth spirit and por and porcupine spirit. I mean, they have quills. They float. That's interesting. There's air inside it. Um, then they can stick up for defense, right? Maybe that's just saying have an open mind. Keep your defenses up as you go. But, um, yeah, especially with the four disc. So it says power on this card. It means, um, well... It's achieving like steps up in your personal power, possibly um, talking about like the foundation where things are at in the foundation of things. Just building on something. This is a really good reading. <laughs> this is a good reading. Nice. Jeez, really? I'm going to tell you. This is one of the best ones I've done in a long time because they've not been very good lately. Okay, so they've been, this is pretty good. Although, communication could be better. There's the journey showing up almost right next to the porcupine spirit. Okay, so, so then I have to deal with explaining this outcome. Which is something that I, I feel like it's just here in your reading to say, hey, you can change this. So I'll tell you what it's telling you to change or have a look at. Um, the Three of Swords is in the past. That's, uh, you know, going through a heartbreaking situation, um, sorrow. More than two people, maybe a group of people, sad. Um, and, and sad over some kind of loss. Now, I can pull extra on that to see what else that's talking about but the two of swords here is the issue and so that means that right now is a time where either you're postponing making a decision but you're you're putting something off um on purpose you need to make a decision um i think it's about choosing what's going to be good for all with the six of wands being in the challenge 
the challenge might be um, getting the recognition you deserve or the, sh the appreciation shown um, for maybe uh, having to deal with some heavy decisions on your own. We have the nine of disc is at the heart of the matter. This is a really good card about um, a financial windfall. Um, it's also about receiving the harvest like after you um have put your efforts have been put in and as it shows on the card it says nine of this game so that's good and then, i mean the future energy is the nine of cups you have nine 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 of swords and the outcome but the future with the nine of cups is something emotionally gets fulfilled a wish granted here Tell me about the um, Three of Swords in the past. The Eight of Swords in the reverse and the Seven of Swords on the bottom of the deck. It's some kind of deception, lying, cheating, stealing, something like that. But um, not feeling like tied down by this anymore, ready to move past any kind of deceitfulness or anything like that, like ready to move past in. You may be taking some worry with you, which is what we're gonna address. Um, maybe un even unnecessary worry. Um, because the world card is representing you, how you're feeling, and that's great. That's like time for a new chapter. You're gonna invite, you know, this full energy to come in. Ten of Swords, whew. Wow. So that, <laughs> crossing that, would be that you feel like a completion with a person or with some kind of event. Um, maybe you're not making a decision at the moment, but you're completely over any kind of betrayal with the Ten of Swords. So completely over that that's not going to happen this is going to be new you new chapter so what's up with the communication with the eight of wands we have communication um in the reverse hmm. it's about not having the energy anymore for for something i don't know for some kind of communication we're always waiting on news, waiting for the perseverance or the stamina to increase or something like that. Maybe exhausted, maybe like trying to conserve your energy. So it, it appears as if something is halted for one reason or the other. That which left you exhausted. So tell me about the King of Pentacles or King of Discs. It is the crowning energy. Hmm. So it is involved with the Three of Swords energy as the challenge. Taurus, possibly. Um, this could just mean the person that's kind of the commitment to the family over the whole family. Maybe some kind of loss. Um, or that is uh, where the heartache is coming from. Or something like that. Having to do with commitment and, and to the whole family. And like, um, yeah, the whole commitment. Not, not having like um, energy for something right now. At the moment. And it feels like something's going to be transformed anyway. Tell me about Nine of Cups. Two of Cups. It's a challenge. So, okay. So, this, for the people that are resonating with this being time for a commitment, for time to make commitments, time to reinforce partnerships, um, it can also be about being done with one commitment and that this is something that was in the past, that it worried you in the past, 
as not working, but it feels like a betrayal of some sort. So some kind of partnership. Obviously at one time there was lovingness and partnership. Um, so either there's an issue with that or the issue is with the two of swords, a split is like inevitable. <clears throat> Maybe it's a split down a decision for you. Maybe that's, you know, you can look at it different. So the nine of cups is what you get. You get your happiness and you get something that will be completely new. Like it says, time for a beginner's mind, a new journey, a new chapter. Um, I think they're saying stop. Stop thinking that you've always got to have something else to be emotionally fulfilled. When you stop searching for that, then you'll stop finding examples. Um, the Three of Pentacles. Maybe take or listen to some advice or do your own research. Collaborate, possibly. So if laying down the groundwork and cooperation is necessary for some kind of completion with the happiness. But the study is, is needed to know that that's something you really find inside yourself. <clears throat> yeah, the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse says, I'm not going to give any energy or time. I have no patience for what is not being fruitful or what is not producing for you. And you're moving on and getting a wish granted. So tell me more about um, the world energy, this completion. Ending and completion. And maybe it's all about also the journey. This is maybe time to make a decision because of contemplating and because of that two of swords. It might be like, okay, it's time to choose now. Four of pentacles, two of wands. There's the four of pentacles, four of pentacles. So, and then look, you have nine of pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Nine of pentacles here. So, personal growth and development, gaining personal power through strengthening um, foundations, through this ability to do really good with money. You also have the angel numbers, nine, 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 nine. <laughs> so, so yeah. So there's something that's really coming to a completion. Maybe dealing with a Leo. You may be dealing with a uh, Virgo too. King of Wands energy. Um, Something's going to be positive. So some of you are moving on to new partnerships and therefore walking away from a painful past. But whatever this is, it, it, it feels like it brought in a lot of um, stability, some money and making it feel, it will feel like it's all been worth it. Yep. So that's what I've got. I'm going to pull from the spell casting deck and um, I have a music Music is life. That's why the heart beats dead. So maybe keeping to yourself a little bit. Maybe a little not wanting to listen to what others have to say. But it's all because of working on yourself. The two of wands is like open up to many possibilities here of planning. Your planning and foresight. Like what that's going to be able to show you. Okay. Spellcasting deck for Aries. And remember, I have private readings if you need something um, more personal. Um, I have inspiration and beauty. Inspiration and beauty. Whoa. And another one. And freedom. Inspiration, beauty, and freedom. That's kind of like your Ace of Wands. So... Something um, something new to inspire you. I don't think any more of those want to come out. But here's this music. Music deck. Okay. All right. 
So I have Kesha Cole Heaven Scent. It says, now you can wait your whole life wondering when it's going to come or where it's been. You may have gotten your heart broken a few times in the past. Never last as, as strong as it used to. It don't feel as good as it used to before. All the things you used to say, things you used to do went right out the door. And that's heaven sent. <laughs> and then I've got Beyonce, Love on Top. Honey, honey, I can see the stars all the way from here. Can't you see the glow on the window pane? I can feel the sun whenever you're near. Every time you touch me, I just melt away. Now everybody asks me why I'm smiling out from ear to ear. They say love hurts, but I know it's going to take the real work. Nothing's perfect, but it's worth it after fighting through my tears. And yeah, and that's that. So that's what I got. Say you love and light. Bye-bye.